We were talking just now, Jodie and, and myself, about how easy it is, relatively easy, to get bits from the cloud, from the interwebby, into the computer, into the studio. So we can mix all of that into radio, which we think is a good thing because people are listening to radio. And the other end of this is how we get interviews around the, around the city. We're, we're within the range of Phonic FM, 96.8 gets into Exeter. And we even did an interview in Costa in Devon and Flatway. We did, we did. Well, Chris, can I play the... If I play the coll the Collider one first... Yeah. And then you could play that one after? Yeah, that's fine. Um, Because we'll, we'll have to... Just for, for technical reasons, we'll have to connect up the... Um, the Bluetooth and everything. I've done it. You've done it. Oh right. Okay. So, all right. Well, look. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about. Well, we'll, we might explain that to the audience as well. What we're doing. I didn't. I didn't realise that. Okay. Well, look. Um, I'll play. I'll play what we did in Collider. Collider, just to explain, is a is a, an, an arts project uh, studio organisation who, who are working on technology things, and. Uh, on a Friday, you can go there um, and use the space, which is more or less their canteen or, ca or cafe, and it might be the answer to our problems, because um, not only this show, but the, the We Don't Know show on a Wednesday, we keep complaining about the lack of coffee in the studio, the lack of microphones in the co coffee bars that we go to, or whatever, wherever it is we're going drinking coffee, and there must be some way of mixing all these things together. And uh, so we have been trying things out at Collider. And last Friday, I took along a tripod. And if you go to... And Chris. And Chris, yes. Chris was a tripod, was he? No, Chris is not a tripod. <laughs> All right. Something I didn't know. No, he comes with his own stable system. Yeah. Um... But we, we, it was a test, because sometimes all kinds of places say, say, oh, yes, of course you can come and record video. But when you say, well, this will include um, a battery of lights, and that will only take up a little bit of space, and then we'll need a, a tripod, and that will only take up a little bit, bit of space. Some places serving coffee, they, they don't really like it by the time they realise the full effect of it. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, Will. Yes, Chris. JD. Oh, yeah, we've got to sort out the cable. No, I saw the cable. I saw the cord leg. It's done. <laughs> okay, I'll plug you in. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> but anyway, we managed to set up the tripod and the collider is still saying, oh, yes, that's quite all right. So um, I'll play. I'll play this, and if you if you find it, Chris Norton video test at Collider. That's spelled K K A L E I D E R. Uh, you'll notice how stable it is. So the, the tripod is doing its doing its job. The um, production values of video that we could achieve yeah. all around Exeter are quite quite good. Uh, so I'll, I'll play this, and then we'll we'll s see if the Bluetooth's working. Oh, I'm now videoing you, Chris. Are uh, you? Yeah. So if you would take a photo... Yeah, go uh, What do you think? Do you think we're causing an obstruction? Uh, no, I think it's a very beautiful place. It's got lots of natural light, which is great. We haven't got any of that in this we certainly haven't. And, and this tripod is not causing any inconvenience. No, it sits in the middle of the table very well. So they're going to welcome us if we come back again with the tripod. They won't mind at all. No, I'd imagine they might mind if they were a bit busier. As you found in another place where they asked you to yeah. take all your stuff away because <laughs> it was in the way. That's true. Well, we'll find, we'll find out another time. We'll see if this is a cafe or if it's a studio or if it's somewhere in between. Yeah. OK, we can stop there. Well, that worked. That worked all right. Chris, 
Do you, do you want to try your, your one now, or do you want okay. to do it later on? Um, have you got the fader up? I've got the fader up, and the light is off, which I think means that you're... It's good. CD2, isn't it? The CD... What was the CD player is now yeah. the Bluetooth. Yeah, let's not give the... Okay. Hi, this is an after show meeting with me, Will and John. So, say hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. We're testing out sound recording in Costa, which we think is a bit noisy. Yeah, and we're doing what we do best, drink coffee. Yeah, that is what we really want to do. I'm still put out that our studio doesn't have coffee facilities. No, and we've just been down to Collider, which was very nice. They've got very light ceilings. And uh, the coffee's just arrived. Thank you. I would, Thank you. I would still, I, I, would, I would still say that um, that that not having um, coffee making facilities in the studio uh, does actually make you quite ill. Doing uh, when you have to do a show without no coffee facilities. And um, we'd like to thank Elida for allowing us to put up our tripod. Yeah. So I urge, finally confirmed, to get a coffee facilities in place. <laughs> And th this not having coffee facility makes John quite late sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Where is like explain this if we spoke to John John explain what Whereas Whereas if Phonic FM had coffee facilities I wouldn't be late at all. Yeah, I, I, I start the show on some Wednesdays around about ten o'clock when it's supposed to start. And when John will arrive, well, it, it can vary. Yes. Yeah, probably because I can't always afford a taxi and Funny FM is not willing to pay for me to be on time. And, uh, and, um, and uh, I, need, I need coffee. So if the show was in Acosta, you'd probably be there. Well, oh, there's no reason why Funny FM can't... I've been into professional studios before and they have coffee making facilities. Okay. Well, that's good. In fact, I've been into, I've been into a studio in Southland. I'm sure you all know what that is. But I'm not pushing them. But they do have, they do have coffee making facilities. Oh, it's so funny to get. Okay, well, this is our pre-production meeting. Talking out coffee. Okay, bye. Please enjoy the tune. Well, that was that was that was pretty good. Yeah. I thought. I mean, um, we'll have to work through what John thinks about how, how desperate it all is. But the sound was okay. So that was that was on your Apple phone. Yeah. We, we'll make other oh, phones are available. Yeah, they are. Which um, yeah, I think the fact that it came in through Bluetooth, we'll mention that as well. The audience don't need to know too much technology, but essentially we can record sounds around Exeter and feed it into an FM signal with minimum complication. Yeah. Which is quite good. So, Mr Producer... Yes, sir? What do you imagine could be done? Just talk about Exeter in general terms for mm -hmm. about two minutes. What could the be the, done the, the potential of Exeter as you see it. Potential in what way? Well, if the technology is there, yes. the, in terms of um, sound and vision, voice mm -hmm. and video, mm -hmm. or still photographs, can all be taken on mobile devices, mm -hmm. and they can be fed into a studio, heavily selected for the good bits, obviously, mm -hmm. and um, put into context and very coherent sequence of material, mm -hmm. fed out again through an FM signal and social media mm -hmm. of various kinds... Uh, is there anything specific about Exeter that would make this um, a project of any great value or should we just accept it's going on anyway somewhere well at the moment it's all a muddle it's a muddle it's a muddle it's not very straightforward you, as I said I keep saying that if you look up something you could spend half an hour on the internet trying to find one thing Ah. Oh. and it's not direct so for instance if you want to know something about um, Mr Norton, you see, you put Mr Norton in, yes, and there will come up everything on Mr Norton, yes, 
We'll try it. <laughs> well, we'll try. Yeah, we'll try that as we yeah. go along. Yeah. But would that be any better than Mr. Norton telling you directly himself what he thinks? Just no, listening well, to that, his show. That will be the best way. Ah, yes. It would still so be the best way. about the internet all, to, all together and start talking to each other. OK. Yeah, so, start talking to each other. <laughs> Leave his phone alone. <laughs> <laughs> now, apart from the fact that my colleagues are stealing each other's phones, I think we've agreed that at this time the search facilities on the interwebby are so limited that strangely enough we suggest you stay tuned to radio the fm signal of phonic fm has sorted it all out and has selected exactly the content that you need and do not forget to wind your radio up no no you must wind your radio up spend your time making sure it's fully wound yep there's plenty of time during the Good, the Bad and the Ugly show to turn it off and, <laughs> and wind, and wind up. it up again. 